Hey, we're back, and today we're gonna show you the Cadillac hood hinge we have designed for 63, 64, 65, and 66. So you have one of these cars where the hood sits up on the back, we have the solution for you, and it looks killer. Okay, so here's the install on what we're doing here. Obviously, we didn't put these old rusty hinges on the car, but more so just to show you how we take them off, where they go, so on and so forth. Uh, remove all the bolts, pull the hinges off. Now we're showing you the adjustability on the hinge as far as all the slotted holes go. So basically, you set the hinge down in the engine compartment and line up the bolts. Once the bolts are lined up, tighten them down. I would not snug anything until you have everything uh, all the bolts entered into the car. Now we're going to tighten it up a tad so we have some stability and then we will start with the next process which is the other side putting the hinge in. Again, follow the same procedure, mount all the bolts, do not tighten anything until you get it, uh, everything installed as far as the bolts go. Now we're going to take a few measurements to make sure that our hood is going to line up perfectly, it should be 54 and a half. We're going to put threaded inserts supplied in the kit into the hood. This will make it easier for you to lift the hood and set on the hinges and not have to try to get the bolt in the hole while holding such a heavy hood. Make sure and put blue lock tight on. That'll ensure the bolts do not come out while driving. This is where you need help from your friends. As you see, we're using four people here to actually set the hood on the hinges. This is the hardest part of the whole deal. I've seen a few guys do it one hood hinge at a time, one side at a time with less people. We chose to do the whole thing at one time just to show you how uh, we do it here. Again, tighten all hardware down. Do not lock tight it until we are sure the hood is exactly where it needs to be. So here you get to see the hood hinges on with the hood in place. Now we slowly close the hood and check for alignment. This is where we will have to adjust the fenders or the hood to make sure the gap is exactly the same on both sides. Here we'll loosen them up, scoot it over a smidge until we get exactly the same gap front to back. Of course, this car just got painted, so we don't have any of the chrome on it. So however, this is how it should look. All right, there you have it. See, that was easy, huh? Not too hard. I know you're going to have to have a couple of buddies come over and help you because the hood is very heavy, but they bolt right in, fully adjustable, and now your hood sits nice and flat. Thank you for shopping at Devious Customs.